All right, when you have these three systems of equations, three variables, typically what you want to do is look to see how you could eliminate at least one variable. So what I'm going to do is, and I'll label these equation one, equation two, and equation three. So the first thing I'm going to do is take equation one and multiply it by two. Why? Because if I multiply this by 2, it's going to be negative 2y, and that'll cancel a variable, which is kind of the whole point. So 2 times 5x minus y plus z equals negative 8. Multiply everything by 2. So I get negative 2y plus 2z equals negative 16. And now I'm going to take and add equation 2. So equation 2 is 4x plus 2y minus 3z equals 0. When I add these together, I get 14x, the y's cancel, and then minus z equals negative 16. All right, well that didn't do me a whole lot of good because I still have two variables. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at equation 1 with equation 3. And I can see just simply by looking at this, if I multiplied equation 1 by negative 3, and again, why? Because a negative and a negative will be a positive, and the y's, once again, is what I'm looking at, getting the same variables to cancel out. So minus y plus z equals negative 8. Negative 3 times 5x, and negative 15x, and negative times a negative is a positive 3y. It's going to be a minus 3z and negative and a negative that will be a positive 24. All right so let's get my equation 3 and let's add these two together so x minus 3y plus 2z equals negative 12. Negative 15x plus x is a negative 14x the whole point canceled those out I get minus z and 24 minus 12 is 12. And so why this is important is because now that I have these two equations without a y, I could actually do something with these two equations, or one of them, I should say. And I'm going to multiply this first one by negative 1. So I guess I'll do it over here. Negative 1 times negative 14x minus z equals 12. So negative times a negative is going to give me a positive 14x. A negative times a negative, aha! Now you see the z is going to end up canceling. And then a negative times a negative is going to give me a, or I'm sorry, times a positive, a negative 12. The z's cancel. I get 28x equals negative 28 divide both sides by 28 and I get x equals negative 1. Now from here you just simply start plugging things back in because I have say this one right here 14x let x equal negative 1 minus c equals negative 16 and if you go through all the math algebra steps you will see you'll get z equals 2 and then I can go back to, say, the first equation, 5x, plug in negative 1, minus y, plus z, plug in 2, equals negative 8. And you go through all the algebra steps, and you get y equals 5. So your solution would be negative 1, 5, and 2. But kind of the big key with these is always try to eliminate one variable from two equations, and then you can use that to solve for the other.